From the moment she arrived at NC State from her suburban home in Raleigh, Julie Shea forged new paths that scarcely have been traveled since. NC State's most decorated athlete had spectacular cross-country and track careers, which came at the confluence of several transformational times in the history of women's athletics, which allowed her to make the most of those opportunities. She arrived at the apex of the distance running craze of the 1970s, inspired by Frank Shorter's gold medal performance in the marathon at the 1972 Olympics. The history of NC State women's track and field and cross country is deep in tradition. It started in 1977 with Julie Shea. She was the foundation. Our success continues today because of Julie. But the story here surrounds Julie Shea who is leading. And look at how strong she's running. She came to NC State to get a world-class education at her hometown school, but also to continue the accomplished running career fostered by her father, Mike Shea, who had his daughters running on the streets of Raleigh and through the woods of Wake County at an early age. She had a close friend, the former Joan Benoit, on the NC State track team and found an exceptional coach in Wolfpack distance consultant and faculty member, Jack Batchelor. Probably on more occasions than I'd care to count, uh, Julie would be up all night working on one of her many design projects. Um, she'd come out to work out. We'd do a substantial workouts as we did back then. Then even after the workout, she'd somehow sneak across Western Boulevard and run another workout at Cardinal Gibbons High School. In four years, she earned 11 All-American honors and won a remarkable seven individual national championships, including three during a 24-hour span in 1980 in distances ranging from 3,000 to 10,000 meters. You've got to remember, these girls are awfully tired. They've run a 10,000 meter final and a 5,000 meter final, not to mention all the time trials. She also led the Wolfpack cross country team to a pair of AIAW national titles in 1979 and 1980 for the schools and the ACC's first ever championships in women's sports. She became the first and only woman to be named the ACC's Athlete of the Year in back-to-back -back seasons and was named the nation's top female amateur athlete in 1980. She also won the 5,000 meter race at the U.S. Olympic Trials, but was unable to participate because of an American-led boycott on the Moscow Olympics. Her accomplishments were so grand, she was named one of the top 10 female athletes in ACC history during the Leeds 50th anniversary celebration in 2003. Her resume made her an overwhelming choice for the inaugural class of the NC State Athletics Hall of Fame. She actually wondered if her myriad accomplishments might be remembered. Leading the race as she's coming into the final turn possibly the best collegiate distance runner in the nation. Oh, this has just been an incredible performance and she's coming into the home stretch and she breaks the wire for three gold medals and 30 points for North Carolina State. I had heard that uh, State was having a Hall of Fame. Oh, please, I just hope they think about me, consider, you know, you know that, I, that I was there at NC State, you know. Uh, Debbie Yao gave me a call at the house and she called up and you know, said, hey, Julie, and, and we got to talking, and she told me that I had been inducted, and my husband was sitting right there at the dining room table, and I was giving him, you know, like, hand signals and trying to, you know, mouth the words that I was inducted, and he was, like, giving me thumbs up and all, and as soon as I got off the phone, we, you know, uh, really happy about it.